Welcome back everybody. Glad to see you guys still are here. Um, so a little update for you guys. Um, I don't know when this video officially is gonna go up. It may go up next week and then there could be a part three we will have to see. But anyways, here's a little update for you guys. In today's video, cats are still bad. They are getting worse, way worse. Like I'm driving and as I'm driving, there is still crazy white smoke. I'm hearing stuff fall out. So later on today, we're gonna try something. It could make it worse, it might make it better. I don't really know, we'll find that out. Um, we're gonna test it though and see what happens. I'm hoping that the goal behind it is we're gonna take my exhaust off. So I'll go through that process. We're gonna leave just the stock headers. I'm hoping that maybe some of the cat material is gonna get blown out the back while I'm driving so that it'll kind of reduce and make it a little bit louder but it'll help get some of that material out and I'm gonna take a look inside the exhaust and I'm gonna see if maybe I can push some of it out so we can get it out so it'll help it sound a little bit better and it'll make it you know it'll run a little bit better then and we won't have as quite as bad of issues um, I'm gonna let you guys know this much headers have been ordered Thanks to Sezzle, um, if you guys haven't heard of Sezzle, there's gonna be a link down in the description down below for you guys to sign up for it. It's a very helpful thing, um, especially in the car community. They have a lot of car parts. They do a lot with uh, uh, performance places. They do, there's different sites that sometimes you have to pay attention as you're gonna pay and it'll show down there on the bottom, but you have to like do it at the end of your checkout. So when you're gonna pay, you actually have to select the Sezzle. They have a credit limit, um, so basically, actually real quick, let me show you guys that. I don't know if you guys were able to see that. Um, I'm just trying to show you. It was really pretty, that like little cobalt, I think it was. I'm trying to get it, it's gonna go up the hill there. It's a purple color, it was really cool. I hope you guys saw that. Um, I've got the camera kind of facing the wrong way, which sucks. I am working on getting a vlogging camera so I can actually flip the screen and be able to see it better for you guys and actually film running a little bit behind there we do have the payment on the car done i've got to make another payment um here on the 29th but right now currently up to date um but anyways like i was saying they have like a credit limit they do different approval it's all different um obviously you should have to pay them off and it can't affect your credit however um i'm just I'm, it's not sponsored or anything i'm just telling you guys something that could be useful i know a lot of people sometimes you don't have the money for the parts it can be very useful in my case i needed to make car payments so i'm doing it across four payments it's but normally four or six payments there's zero interest on the payments and it's um bi-weekly so it's either four or six weeks um for me i bought the catless headers texas speed from s550 euros yes they use sezzle obviously because that's how i paid for them um so as of right now i've made my first payment i have a payment on the 31st and then whatever two weeks is after that and then two weeks after that um they are back ordered so that's kind of why we're trying to clear some of that cat material out later today um is so that we have that you know won't have as much of an issue there um that's kind of the idea behind that um sorry there's some weird stuff going on over there on the road i'll show you guys it in just a minute just trying to figure out why people are stopping behind this car i know that there's like a car that's he's got problems but with his engine or something but he's just like keep, people keep coming up right behind him and then trying to People are weird around here. Traffic sucks. People suck at driving. So, yeah. Anyways, though, um, that's the general idea. Um, we updated the earrings a little bit. And we went round now. So, um, I'll come in a little bit closer. See, they're round. They're a lot more shiny, which I like. Um, still not real yet. We're working on that. But we have more important things to do first. Um, so, like I said, we're, I have them ordered... The estimate was for them to get them back in stock. I don't know how many people had bought them, let alone bought Catless headers, let alone from them. I don't know my place in line or anything right now. I do know they've kept my order. I'm placed in line. They said it should, they're on back order. Their next stock should come, their estimate that they were given. 
was mid January or early January it could change so I'm hoping before February that is my hope um because they're catless and Colorado has changed all their stuff it's like California no shop wants to install catless headers so it looks like I'm going to be doing that myself so um I'm not going to be doing too much on the video I will try to point out some details of where they need to be what really needs to be done but my main focus is just going to be kind of uh before and after um granted the before isn't going to be very good because um my cat problem as it is but it is going to be straight piped 100 percent when i'm done then we're going to get her tuned so i'm doing that because here's the labor when i supply the parts at the place i was going to go if anybody knows a place in colorado doing it cheaper let me know and if they're even going to do catless um as of right now though where i'm going for tuning 1000 or uh, 1050 for tuning however yes it's 1050 for tuning but to install headers they wanted to charge between 13 1400 dollars 12 and 14 really um i know that it's a very labor intensive but i'm trying to save that on labor personally and if i can save the labor on it i would rather save the labor and then take that labor that I have and put that extra money, not only towards my other car payments, but I'm gonna put it towards actually getting her tuned. Now, keep in mind what I, I'm getting her retuned. I'm not doing this SCT. I'm not doing a burble anymore. Um, my actual plan here, there must be a cop nearby. My actual plan here is that I'm going to put a um hp tuners and i'm just i've got just remember i've got e85 i've got it straight piped it will be a true straight pipe with the headers i don't have e85 yet but that's what i'm gonna do i'm not doing it flex though so i'm gonna have to switch the maps um but i'm gonna try and run it mainly on e85 so it means for a good majority of it it's gonna be e85 91 and then of course the straight pipe, the headers, and I've got the JLT intake. So we're looking pretty close to 500 wheel. We should be right around that. Um, I'm not sure how exactly I'm making that, but cause based on the math that I've done, that's not right. But I haven't done an actual pull yet on this. So I'm gonna check on that and then we'll go from there. Um, once I do that, then I'm gonna, um, once we get it all dynoed and tuned and all of that, we'll do that and then we should be good. It's mainly gonna be then getting it tinted because we're not tinted yet. And then we're gonna get it, um, we're gonna get that bumper fixed and then I'm gonna start working on some wheels. Um, Cause I am keeping this for a little bit, a little bit longer than I want to, but that's for the better. Um, I might as well enjoy what we've done to it. Um, and then it's gonna head to the manual car again um, and that might be what I keep, but I don't know if the, the manual is probably going to get upgraded a little bit, or I may have to hold on to this a little bit longer in order to get the other manual car that I want. I got to switch hands because it's making my pinky hurt. Sorry, guys. Ooh, my hand hurts now. But anyways, um, for those of you who have no clue what cats look like, I'm going to show you guys um, the first two photos I'm going to insert after this like clips over is I'm gonna insert two um, photos of what the cat should look like. And then there's two photos after that and I'll try and put some text on them that is what the cats basically more than likely look like on my car right now, cause they're melted, like they're bad. Um, just based on the smoke and the smell, whew, that's pretty bad. Um, but that's what we're gonna go for. Um, in this video, I'm also going to show you, and after I get those photos in, you're going to see, um, I can't even remember what the day is, Friday. So, um, on Sunday, uh, we're doing a little cruise. I'll show you guys how I've decorated the car later. I haven't got it decorated yet. We are going to decorate the car a little bit so that we can have it taken out and we're going to go get it decorated and go put it out to, um, we're going to be doing a little cruise 
and it'll all there's going to be lots of cars lights we'll stop at a couple places and i'm going to show you guys and document all of that and how i've got the car um i love my engine bay lighting but it's running a lot of voltage through and especially on top of that i've got the headlights so what i'm going to actually do is we're going to throw some underglow on the car and i'll get rid of the engine bay lighting and i'm going to get some underglow going instead um i know my engine bay lighting is really cool but and it has been very helpful actually to work on the car um i don't totally need it but i am going to try and maybe um i don't know how i'm going to do it yet i don't want a secondary battery for the car which is the biggest thing because that's what i'm getting close to so i'm going to try and have some underglow more professionally installed but then i'm going to have them do i am going to keep the colored headlights just delete the engine bay lighting and then we're going to um, I might be throwing in a rear seat delete again. I don't know yet. It is an ABS kind of plastic one, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it would be good to have. So I might have that put in. Um, I forget if it's EMP or FMP. I think it's FMP, but I'll check for you guys. It's like a $300 one like I had before. I wanted a carbon one. That's super, super expensive. So we're gonna have to hold on that. We are switching the exhaust tips out after the headers. But here's, like I said, the first part of this is really getting those headers done, getting her tuned right. And then once we get that done, then it's the, the bumper, then I'm gonna have her tinted. And I know that's a little different order. I'm trying to actually put it in order for you guys. So we're gonna get the bumper, then get it tinted. Then I'm gonna ceramic coat and paint correct the car finally. And we might put a wrap on it. I don't know yet, but if I once I put the wrap, that's kind of my last thing I really wanna do. I do want to put a carbon dash in, um, but I don't know how we're going to get there just yet. So that's kind of in the works. Um, we're looking about six months for everything to get done. My main thing is tint, ceramic coat, bumper, headers, tuning. And then my last kind of thing I'm looking at there, it's a really nice beamer back here. I'll see if I can get it for you guys. Oh, we must have parked. I'll try and show it to you guys here in a second. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at right now. Um, I'm gonna be stuck with that. So this is, it, I'm, I'm okay with it. It's gonna be one of the loudest cars that I have. Well, it's gonna be the loudest I've ever had and the loudest in this area, really. Um, I am gonna throw some new wheels on and different tires, cause I will say this, I love these Toyos. They're really great, but the Toyo R Triple Eight R's do have a lot of road noise so i'm going to try a different tire i'm bumping the rears to 305s and the fronts to 285s um i will probably switch my michelins out uh to nittos uh the nt triple five r's i think is what they are or nt at least the nt triple fives because those i've had the triple five r's and those i really enjoyed uh they were great tires i had them on the manual took them on the track drag raced they weren't that bad um, we should be able to hit some Bandamir next year. She'll be running perfect. She's going to look great, sound great. She'll be like, yeah, she's going to be amazing. Only thing I hate, still got the auto, but that's faster. We should be hitting 10 second quarter miles. So uh, once we get everything in order there. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys a little bit later. I've got a couple things I got to do. Um, and then once I get my stuff done, then I'll see you guys later um, for the little uh, light parade. Uh, so yeah. I'll see you guys later. Peace for now. How to show you guys this mustang i could hear it so just showing it to you guys this is a little closer to how mine's gonna sound here soon it's gonna be probably at least two to three times that loud but i thought i'd show you guys that see if i can hear him get a pull in There you guys go. That's a little closer to how it's actually going to sound. It'll be even louder though.
Wish I still had the manual, it'd be even better, but unfortunately we don't, so we'll get there though. Thought I'd show you guys this. This is the second Mach 1 I've seen today. Come on camera, focus. There we go. I'm gonna hear this. They're clean. Sounds good. I'll get to pull in here for you guys here in just a minute once he does his turn. Dang, those things sound good though. Almost wish I would have bought a Mach 1 over this one. See if I can try and get him pulling off. A lot of construction so only so much you can do but still sounds good what up everyone sorry i was a little bit forgot some stuff in this video um we did take the exhaust off the exhaust is back on we did clean a bunch of cap material out and everything like that um so unfortunate but we had to had to get the exhaust put back on it was way too obnoxious um we no longer have a check engine light still it kind of comes in and out car is not running very good but we're still doing the cruise tonight. Um, I forgot to show you guys what the car looks like dressed up. Um, it's not, you know, anything crazy. We'll try and do better next year. Um, but for now, we've got it. We still have it kind of decorated a little bit. It's supposed to be kind of a car light parade, and mine's not really lit up. But we did get some lights, and I've got um, the lights up here on the uh, window right up here. So well, when I can point to it right there. Um, I'll show you guys those. We got some stuff on the mirrors, on the trunk, and on the front grill. Just a Christmassy it a little bit. We did have a Christmas tree on the roof. Unfortunately, the Christmas tree's not going too well. It wouldn't stay up. But we also have, when she wants to pay attention, she's distracted. We, we brought Peach with us. And then we have Baby over here. So we got, yep, she's excited. But Peach is coming with us. We're going on the light cruise. There's going to be a little bit of a cruise. She's coming with us. She doesn't get to go a lot of places. So we, we brought this little one here. Yeah. Yes, we did. Didn't we, Peachy? You get to go on the ride and get to go see a bunch of cars. There are going to be a lot of cars. They're going to be super nice and everything. Super dressed up. I've already seen a couple of them. Unfortunately, I did forget to show you guys. Um the uh how mine looks as soon as we get there we're not pulling out till 5 30 it's only it's not even five yet it's about 4 52 right now um so we're gonna be getting there right around about just after five we don't leave till 5 30 so i'll walk around i'll show you guys some of the cars that have showed up there's gonna be a lot of classic cars more than modern but i'm sure there will be some more modern cars as well I'll show you this car, what we've done to this. Um, I, as you guys can see, if you've been paying attention to the reels, I changed the gauges a little bit. Um, this is not the gauges that I had the other day on the reels. They are gonna go back after Christmas. I might change them for New Year, but for right now, we got red and green for Christmas. So I thought I'd show you guys that. We got our colored headlights kind of going. We're gonna, um, I have them currently on red because these lights up here i have to be a little careful i'm more worried about police getting upset so i won't do red and blue but we do have it on green which is yes i did get i it was warned that is technically illegal in this scenario it should be all right um we are doing it as a excuse me a large group so it should be a little bit more acceptable hopefully if not i can turn them off but i'm hoping we won't have to do that but yeah we're doing um we'll do it better next year we'll get some more lights I've uh, been doing some looking at some new cars. Um, I don't know how far we're going to get with the headers. I do want to try and get the headers, install them, so I get some more experience doing that. Try and get the headers done. We can get her tuned. Then I'm going to try and get at least that rear bumper fixed so that we can start looking at a good trade and getting a better value for the car, getting it sold off a little better. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're going right now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to let you guys go, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit right at the meet, and I'll show you the car and as well as some of the other cars there at the little group uh, meeting there. And then I'll try to get some, uh, we'll get some footage in of kind of the parade as we're going along and some of the people as well. Uh, unfortunately, I wish I could rev the car more, and it's not going to be really possible because the car's not doing too well right now. Um, 
we're getting there though it's, it's finally coming along it took me four fourth mustang and we've basically got everything we want i've wanted between them i've had carbon dashes i've had two manuals i've had the 10 speed autos you know i've done exhaust i did a corsa exhaust i've done a i'm about to be at a full proper straight pipe you know we've done i've done five percent tin uh carbon steering wheel and a lot of it i'm just proud of because i've done it myself um we did have rear seat deletes you know finally this will be the most powerful mustang i will have had um cold air intakes you know we've done some fun stuff with these but you know this was my first dream car since probably i was like five so now it's time to move on we're gonna actually get a more practical but still fun sporty car um, i won't give that away unfortunately no manual yet but the manual it will be coming back it just won't be a mustang i'll leave that up to you guys and it will be the fruit first supercharged car so we're gonna go from there but i'll see you guys here in just a bit peace for now Christmas peachy, all these nice cars. Got a Mark IV, we'll come around. Got the Mark IV over here. R35, suicide doors on the Camaro. Rather, I'll zoom out for you guys so you can see. Got a good old classic Mustang, looks like. Not a clue the year on it, really. Got a Alpha 4C. You're all good. Hey, how's it going? Hey, pretty good. You see y'all at the Dollar Tree the other day? Yep, sure did. Right on, man. doggy. We got a big 80 pound fucking Border Collie jumping shit tonight, man. Yep. It's like a gigantic one of her, yeah. <laughs> yep. It's a good seal again, man. Yeah, good seal. <laughs> yep. See, she's trying Christmas to get a Christmas tree. tree. We got Christmas puppy still. Oh, we, got the, we got the big Sorry. turbo. <laughs> <laughs> got the big, good old fire trucks here. I was wearing DXC too, but still. Got Levi, this is what he leaves it. Time at the entrance. Santa Claus over here. The Grinch over there. We'll see Grinch here in a minute. Buses. Really good turnout. We got Mr. Grinch over here. All these fun cars. This morning he has little cars for his kids too. So he's a cool rain truck. Rudolph. Another fire truck. Okay. Okay. Say hi to Levi. Hi. Nice Camaro. Got this nice truck coming in. 
got all these piling up. Yeah, we got all those coming in down there. Truck. We got this really cool one going in. <laughs> Old Mercedes. Hello, Mustang. Got a little Volkswagen bus. Chilly, it's been a nice day today though. I'm gonna teach to go meet the Grinch. There's another Grinch. I got like three. I know. We got a Nova. Another fire truck. She's excited about the other guy. Come on, Beaches. Wait, do you want pets? <laughs> Beaches, no job. <laughs> yeah. Careful, Beach. <laughs> Nova's got some cool lights going over here as well. Got a Viper pulling in. Super pretty. I'll have to get a photo of it with flat. You kind of see it like that. It doesn't even portray the same color. Super nice. That is nice. These are all really nice cars. They've done a good job. Beaches. <laughs> Then we got the Grinch again. Grinch times eight. Hey. <laughs> oh, look at the inside of the Mustang. Yeah. Yeah. Come back around the back here. I think she wants to meet the Grinch as much as I do. Sounds good. Chili. She saw the reflection and she was like, huh? Oh look, Santa climbs it. <laughs> oh, look, look, look at Lightheart. A little tree on top. He gets stuck though, so I have to always turn there's, it off. Hey, there's a train that moves around here. <laughs> <laughs> train can move. Oh, <laughs> 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 look at the 
Viper real quickly. Here on the back. So yeah, looking good though. 